Hey, God bless everybody. I don't know about you, but I know me. And if you're anything, not saying that you're like me, but if you're anything at all um, that has come to moments in your life when you're believing God for that breakthrough, you're, re you're believing God for a miracle, you're believing God for healing in your body, you're believing God for a financial breakthrough, you're believing God for restoration, you're believing God for reconciliation, or you're just believing God for some things in your life. And and if you're like me, there's times in your life when, you know, <clears throat> I like to call it, and you saw my video the one time, one day there, and I talked about divine uh, dis dissatisfaction and divine frustration. And there's times in my life, brothers and sisters, and if the truth be told, and again, I'm not trying to make this, you know, uh, uh, you know, like a uh, biblical doctrine or, or adding to anything, but I just want for you to hear me out and just to hear my heart on the matter. So there's times in our lives when that frustration that you show to the, to the Lord, you may think, or we sometimes think that or it could come off as complaining or murmuring or, God, where you at? See, but the fact that you would even come to the Lord in the expectation of even thinking that God can and or will make a way, believing God at his word, trusting him at his promise, and knowing that it is yes and amen for those that are sons and daughters of the Lord that trust and adhere to and rely on the one that has saved, redeemed, restored, and reconciled us into fellowship and union with Christ Jesus. So one of the things that I want to encourage you today is this, is that in the midst of your frustration, in the midst of you waiting, in the midst of you sometimes having at it, and, 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 and I know sometimes some Christians and certain leaders, they don't like when I say this, but there's times when I have at it, not in a disrespectful type of way, but I have at it in the mindset and in the reality of knowing a God who is faithful, a God who loves me, a God that is true to every promise concerning his word or what it is that he's promised concerning you. That when the things sometimes, again, and I'm not saying for us to be spoiled brats and for us to always be thinking that we can demand from God, it's not demanding from God. It's, it's, it's walking into a reality that is already established and done. That is the frustration that begins to boil up in our souls because we know it's there. The spirit of the Lord is leading you. The steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. And God is leading you through something. God is leading you to something. But in those times and in those moments, sometimes in our frustration, in our agitation, in our irritation, it could very well be like, God, where you at? Don't you care? You know I'm trusting and I'm believing. You know... You know I have faith, but even if there is anything in me that needs help, if there be any unbelief, help me with my unbelief and give me the strength and the faith to believe of what it is that I need to be shown and revealed to make possible a reality that I know is available for my life, for the sons and daughters of God, for to to encourage you in and to walk in because remember brothers and sisters i'm not trying to teach or minister to you anything that i don't walk out myself because if i can't manifest the realities of the kingdom if i can't walk out the miracle signs and wonders if i can't teach you because it's not just a training or an intellectual no knowing of what it is that i've discovered that I teach you from experience because of what I encounter of what it is that is a reality that I myself too walk out even in the midst of my frustration, even in the midst of my having at it with the Lord 
And like I said, when I say having at it with the Lord, and I know, like I said, people sometimes they'll hear me wrong when I say having at it with the Lord. I'm not saying, you know, you curse at God or you or you yell at God. But but there's times when, when we have father and son discussions, there's times that I'll come to the to come to the Lord. I'll come exposed. I'll come opening up my heart. I'll tell him how I feel. I'll tell him what I'm going through. I'll tell him, Lord, I'm your son. I'll tell him exactly what I'm thinking. I'll tell him. He already knows anyway, but he wants for me to come. See, because I'm not coming in the King James. Oh, thou, oh Lord, here I am. Here thou art, oh my God. No, no, no. He wants for you to come for real like, Lord, I'm your son. And I'm believing you for some things. And you may say, I'm your daughter. God, and I know that your promises are yes and amen. God, I know that your word is written, that by your wounds we were healed. God, I know your word says, Father, you use the word and you are the word and you came in the flesh and you went to the whipping post and you paid the price for me. But why the delay? Why the hold up? Why am I going through? Come on, somebody. That's what I'm talking about. I think I just got your attention. Why am I going through this? What do you... I know that you're trying. You're not trying to teach me something from going through some sickness. I know that you're not trying to teach me something by going through uh, uh, some, uh, for, the, for the devil to come upon. No. No, that's not the Lord. The Lord is not letting the devil do anything. But he's trying to awaken who you are in him. He's trying to grow you in who you are in him. That the power that you have on the inside of you is what's going to bring you through. The peace that is in on the inside of you. The strength that you have on the inside of you. The power that, <laughs> that you got on the inside of you. And the anointing that you got on the inside of you is what's going to help and bring you to everything that God has spoken concerning you. Uh, so I say that to say this. Many of you under the sound of my voice, you're frustrated. And here's what I'm going to say that a lot of other pastors may not say. It's all right. It's okay. I get it. I get it. Let it out. Get it off your chest. He already knows how you feel. Just tell him. Come to him. Expose yourself to him. Let him know how you truly feel. But also let him know what his word says concerning you use the word of god brothers and sisters use the word but god you said but god you told me through your word god your word says right here in your promise god your word says as you are so are we in this world what is sickness doing upon me because sickness is not on you what is disease doing upon me because disease is not on you what is lack doing in my life because lack is not of you as you are as he is, so are we in this world. Take him at his word is what I'm trying to say to you, brothers and sisters. Even in the midst of your frustration, go to the word and say, but God right here, it says in your word, you are, Lord, it says right here, it is written. You are not a man that you shall lie, Lord. You are not a God that is, that is out here playing around with me, playing with my emotions, playing with and leading me with the, uh, uh, with the carrot on the stick into these uh, uh, imaginational dreams and promises. God, you are a God of your word and I know that you wouldn't do that because you are the Lord God Almighty who reigns. And I know you're faithful and I'm gonna to continue to stand and be faithful and trust you at your word. But God, you said in your word here and you tell, you remind the Lord of what the Bible says. You remind the Lord, Lord, but you said by your wounds, by your stripes, we were and are healed. Lord, but you said, you know, uh, you never seen the righteous forsaken nor seed begging for bread. Lord, you said you delight in the prosperity of your children. Lord, you said in your word, this is your word. This is not me saying it. I'm not trying to twist. I'm not trying to twist it. I'm telling it for what it is. You said this in your word, God. You are not a liar. Your word is true for it is written. Now, devil, carnal mind, enemy of the Lord that's trying to rob and stop and there, there be any spiritual forces hindering and stopping my blessings, 
get off, get out, and never again return because I'm stepping into the promises of what God has in store in Jesus' name.